Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about the perfect, or maybe the best, survival tools for Alaska. Now this video is kind of a growth on a video I did not so long ago talking about the best knives or what to look for in survival knives for Alaska. So this is kind of a growth out in saying that these are some of the best tools, especially used together for survival in Alaska. Now the other thing before we jump into this video, in the last video that we that I did talking about survival knives and the best survival knives for Alaska, it was mentioned quite a few times that, you know, axes are, you know, Alaska is known for being kind of the axe land or, you know, this country, this, uh, you know, setting is really great for axes and that I will say is a very true statement. However, I want to clarify that this is specifically for survival and the reality when it comes to axes is that yes, axes are great. Uh, and if you just so happen to have a full-sized axe for survival, count yourself lucky. But the reality is outside of maybe, you know, having an axe in your truck or having an axe in your pilot's down bag, um, it's not going to be a very realistic option, especially when you're thinking about, you know, what are tools that I can pack on my body to have constantly that aren't going to weigh me down or become, you know, a really large clunky piece of gear that's going to get in the way of me doing whatever I'm trying to do in the woods, whether that be hiking, whether that be practicing survival, whether that be camping or some other facet of wilderness uh, recreation. So that's where I say that if you can have an axe, go for it. And axes will be the best tool, but they also come with a high weight and high size burden that most people aren't willing to bear every single time they go out into the wilderness. And of course, when it comes to um, survival, Ultimately, at the end of the day, the best survival tool you have is the survival tool you have on you when that survival situation happens. So that's what I get back to and that's why in these videos talking about survival knives or survival tools, I don't really talk about axes. It's not that I don't value my axes. I certainly do. It's just that they are not a very realistic option when it comes to survival in practice. Okay, so with that out of the way, that brief explanation out of the way, let's jump into these three tools. So I'm going to start with the first one, and it's going to be the most brief because we've already talked about survival knives in another video. But one of the best tools you can have is a really solid survival knife. And I think that the reason why I put this knife in the middle here is because I think it's the most well-rounded tool and its capabilities are probably the highest of all. However, I also put it in the middle because this is the knife or the knife, this is the tool that is going to go best paired with other tools. So if you could only choose two tools here, you know, it would probably be in your best interest to take the knife and the saw or the knife and the hatchet or the knife or so the knife is going to be at the core of the conversation. And so, like I said in the last video, what you're looking for in a good survival knife is something that has, for Alaska, is something that has, you know, in excess of six inch of a six inch blade, preferably a solid steel uh, that is rust resistant, but if nothing else, good edge retention is key. And you're looking at a knife that you're going to want to be able to baton. So you want something a little bit thick, but not too thick because you don't want a, you know, just sharpened piece of metal. You want something that can carve, cut, and, you know, do all the finer tasks that a knife needs to be able to do. So something like the CRK Pacific or, in previously mentioned, something like the uh, Cold Steel SRK are options that I would heavily consider. Okay, so now let's take a look at the other two tools. So the saw. The saw is probably my next tool that really deserves attention, and that is primarily because this tool is the optimal tool to pair with. Whether you choose a knife or you choose a hatchet, the saw should be with you pretty much all the time. And that is because the saw has a lesser ability to do uh, like any tasks out in the wild. It has lesser ability to do any tasks out in the wilderness. However, the tasks that the saw can do, so the saw is a tool that you can use uh, that is going to be efficient and effective at the tasks that it does specifically. So it's not going to be the best tool for everything, 
but the things that it does do, it does very well. And as I've shown in previous videos, using just the hatchet and the saw, I was able to get a lot of firewood with reasonable ease within just a few hours. So the saw is a great survival tool, and something like this Baco Laplander, as you can see, isn't much larger than my hand, easily fits in a cargo pocket, and really helps multiply your force and ability in the wilderness. Okay, lastly, but certainly not least, is a really solid hatchet. This is a Holtzbrook All Mic specifically, but just about any 16 inch hatchet is really what I'm talking about here. And once again, if you can run all three of these tools, it's the best, but the hatchet just allows you to do a lot of tasks with relative ease and with relatively limited exertion. Is once again when I when I tested all tools when I took so when I tested this up against a small saw for doing similar work, the hatchet did pretty darn close. It's not too far off in efficiency. However, it does have a little bit higher calorie burn because you are swinging a heavier tool. But the hatchet does have a lot of great abilities, and I've actually made a video talking about why the hatchet is a great survival tool, like I said, especially when paired with a saw. But nonetheless, the hatchet is a reasonably easy tool to carry, probably the hardest of all three, but once again, not that hard to carry. And it allows you to have, you know, greater ease of doing specific tasks that are related to the hatchet. It's not quite as versatile as a knife, but it does give you extended reach. So if you need to gather materials, whether that's dry tinder for fire starting or natural resources for food or whatever you need to gather, the hatchet will help you extend your reach just that little bit more, which can be very useful. And overall, the hatchet is a very useful tool that plays into these three survival tools very well. And once again, the ultimate goal would be to carry all three of them, but all three of these guys, and the ultimate goal would be to carry all three of these guys because they really don't add that much weight or that much bulk to a kit but they really maximize your effectiveness in the wilderness when you are traveling, whether that's hiking, camping, or practicing survival. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed looking at these three tools. Once again, this is no disrespect to the ax. I love the ax, but the ax can be a challenging tool to effectively field and carry unless you're specifically anticipating for it. So that's why it's not on the list. But anyways, guys, as always, God bless, and I'm out.